It's been said the people who stand by you are your family. And you all know and love Joan London, longtime co-host of Good Morning America, all those years with Charlie and Spencer. Well, she's been part of our extended family and always will be. She's chosen to come here this morning to share something personal with all of us. It's Joni, good to see it's you. It's great to see you, Joni. What is it that you want to share with people? I heard those words that every woman fears and never wants to hear. You have breast cancer. And, you know, in the beginning, it's like such a shock. It's a stunner. And, and you think, I do everything right. You know, I get checked and I'm healthy. And, and for me, I'm a health advocate. I'm all over America talking to women saying, make sure that you, you know, get all of your checkups all the time. And, and in the beginning, it was kind of... All, you almost feel like, what did I do wrong? Mm -hmm. And then I just turned a corner and said, wait a second. You know, I'm a health advocate. Just like knock this off, learn everything you can about mm -hmm. this. In warrior mode. And that's where you are. You're in warrior mode right now. And many people have been touched by cancer, but until it is you, until yeah. those words are said to you. And as you said, you have been health conscious. Yeah. Uh, you were having your yearly... Oh, religiously. I never missed it. I had my mammogram every mm -hmm. year. And, you know, some women, um, like myself, have kind of dense fibrous tissue, so we're told to also have an ultrasound. And thank goodness, because nothing showed in my mammogram. And you come out of there like, yes, one more year, mm -hmm. I'm okay. And then you go all happy-go-lucky into the ultrasound. And, you know, she kept going back to one spot, and I said, she, they found something. You know when and then they do a the core room. biopsy and then you have to wait and my husband went in with me and we sat there and I knew the minute the doctor walked in the door I could just tell by her demeanor but I still just the words are almost surreal mm. when you hear you have breast cancer and you talk about your husband you have uh. this incredible hashtag team Joan yes that they're, <laughs> they're there by your side your children and and how important is that to have that support system you know when something like this happens you learn just how important it is and he's a rock I have just one of the, the best husbands anyone could ever ask for he's there every step of the way and he just gives you so much strength and my three older girls mm -hmm. like a lot of you all that watched the show and have for years you saw them. Jamie Lindsay and Sarah grow up and you know, they've been with me at every appointment. And then we, the little twins, I have twins who are 11 and twins who are 9, and we sat them down and told oh. them. But because we found it early, I was able to tell them that mommy's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. And that's really the bottom line, you know, that you can't be afraid of what you might hear because that's what can really mm -hmm. cause you real problems. As I said, focus on the fear and not the fright. <laughs> yes. And that's what you are doing, and you already have begun... What can you share with us about that? You know, I have uh, the more aggressive kind, and so it's going to be the chemotherapy and the surgery and the radiation, and so, you know, I've got that journey ahead. I've already started it. I'm already doing my chemo. Um, wow. And then I wanted to know how I should go about coming back and connecting. I've shared my entire life journey mm -hmm. with the people on the other side of that camera so it only stood to reason I would share this so that's when I called you I know when you called me Joan and we had this discussion and you didn't know how or why or should you go public and then you realize that is your life's work and you also talked about your father <clears throat> my dad was a cancer surgeon and uh, when I was about 14 he was returning home from speaking at a cancer conference he's one of the leading cancer surgeons in in the country and he was killed in our private plane flying home and you know I always wanted to grow up and be a doctor just like him because I so admired him but I really couldn't hack the scalpels and the stitches and things I found that out real quick working in a hospital before college and the other night I was going to bed and I said you know if he was looking down right now he would say all right you know, you've got this, and you've lived your life in front of an audience. Use it. Learn everything you can. Impart that information. Go out. Try to inspire and maybe save lives. I mean, you don't have to be a doctor with a scalpel to be able to accomplish that. And it completely changed my entire frame of how I was looking at it. I, I went from being a victim to being empowered mm -hmm. and having a purpose. You know, it's an odd way to allow me to fulfill his legacy but so be it yeah. this is how it landed in my lap and 
Yeah, it is, and you are a messenger, and 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 that's what's so important. And, and as I've said, make your mess, your message, and that's what you're going to do. That in I love that. In her book, your mom always said yeah. that. Make your mess, your, your message. Message. I love that. You do that. I am right here with you. I know. And um, so is all of your extended family and just what a privilege to always be in your presence and just to know that we are here for I you know. we are here for you and we just wish you all I the very feel best. it when I walk walk <laughs> into the studio and everybody. so many familiar faces yeah. always always family we love you Tony please do keep in touch thanks so much let's get outside now this is what we do now we switch now to, to weather you remember that <laughs> oh, right? yes. oh yes oh yes the ginger and the weather thank you Jim. and that's the thing your family out and that's really the bottom line you know that you can't be afraid of what you might hear because that's what can really mm -hmm. cause you real problems. As I said, focus on the fear and not the fright. Yes. And that's what you are doing and you already have begun. What can you share with us about that? You know, I have uh, the more aggressive kind and so it's going to be the chemotherapy and the surgery and the radiation and so, you know, I've got that journey ahead. I've already started it. I'm already doing my chemo. Um, wow. And then I wanted to know how I should go about coming back and connecting I've shared my entire life journey mm -hmm. with the people on the other side of that camera so it only stood to reason I would share this so that's when I called you I know when you called me Joan and we had this discussion and you didn't know how or why or should you go public and then you realize that is your life's work and you also talked about your father <laughs> you know I'm a health advocate just like knock this off learn everything you can about mm -hmm. this warrior mode and that's where you are you're in warrior mode right now and many people have been touched by cancer but until it is you until yeah. those words are said to you and as you said you have been health conscious yeah. uh, you were having your yearly oh religiously I never missed I had my mammogram every mm -hmm. year and you know some women um, like myself to have kind of dense fibrous tissue so we're told to also have an ultrasound and thank goodness because nothing showed in my mammogram and you come out of there like, yes, one more year, mm -hmm. I'm okay. And then you go all happy-go-lucky into the ultrasound. And, you know, she kept going back to one spot. And I said, she, they found something. You know. And then they do a core room. biopsy. And then you have to wait. And my husband went in with me. And we sat there. And I knew the minute the doctor walked in the door, I could just. It's been said, the people who stand by you are your family. And you all know and love Joan London, longtime co-host of Good Morning America, all those years with Charlie and Spencer. Well, she's been part of our extended family and always will be. She's chosen to come here this morning to share something personal with all of us. It's Joni, good to see it's you. It's great to see you, Joni. What is it that you want to share with people? I heard those words that every woman fears and never wants to hear. You have breast cancer. And, you know, in the beginning, it's like such a shock. It's a stunner. And, and you think, I do everything right. You know, I get checked and I'm healthy. And, and for me, I'm a health advocate. I'm all over America talking to women saying, make sure that you, you know, get all of your checkups all the time. And, and in the beginning, it was kind of... All, you almost feel like, what did I do wrong? Mm. And then I just turned a corner and said, wait a second. <clears throat> My dad was a cancer surgeon, and uh, when I was about 14, he was returning home from speaking at a cancer conference. He was one of the leading cancer surgeons in, in the country, and he was killed in our private plane flying home. And, you know, I always wanted to grow up and be a doctor just like him because I so admired him, but I really couldn't hack the scalpels and the stitches mm -hmm. and things. Mm -hmm. I found that out real quick working in a hospital before college and the other night I was going to bed and I said you know if he was looking down right now he would say all right you know you've got this and you've lived your life in front of an audience use it learn everything you can impart that information go out try to inspire and maybe save lives I mean you don't have to be a doctor with a scalpel to be able to accomplish that and it completely changed my entire frame of how I was looking at it I, I went from being a victim to being empowered mm -hmm. and having to tell by her demeanor but I still just the words are almost surreal mm. when you hear you have breast cancer and you talk about your husband you have uh -huh. this incredible 
Hashtag Team Joan. Yes. That they're, they're there by your side, your children. And, and how important is that to have that support system? You know, when something like this happens, you learn just how important it is. And he's a rock. I have just one of the, the best husbands anyone could ever ask for. He's there every step of the way, and he just gives you so much strength. And my three older girls, mm -hmm. like a lot of you all that watched this show and have for years, you, you saw them. Jamie, Lindsay, and Sarah grow up. And, you know, they've been with me at every appointment. And then we, the little twins, I have twins who are 11 and twins who are 9, and we sat them down and told oh. them. But because we found it early, I was able to tell them that mommy's going to be okay.